it was mentioned to me there are a few surprise visitors here that we'll probably give the podium to to speak for a few minutes. And so before we do that, though, I want to put a plug in for a couple of things. Before I get to my other authors, I just want to mention to you that this, uh, this project, Liars, the McGinty Wind Record, took shape before Christmas when, uh, when Daniel approached me with an idea to write a book. Uh, initially, it was about Mike Harris and what he had done and kind of contrast that to uh, Dalton. And I, I, uh, I immediately said to him, you know, we need, we need a good record on McGinty because no one's writing about it, you know. And as, as Brian pointed out, everybody's writing about Harper. No one's written about McGinty, and what my opinion is probably the most villainous politician that we've had in the modern history here in Canada. And I don't say that uh, to be, uh, you know, flamboyant or over the top. If you consider the fact that just the billion-dollar gas plant scandal that took, I mean, we can't even imagine what a billion dollars looks like. But just stop for a moment and think about a billion dollars, if you could. You know, it would take, uh, it would probably fill... In my opinion, if you any any of you visited the um, the Blue Jay Stadium in Toronto, now I I could be wrong here, but I think a billion dollars would basically fill that auditorium if we were to look at it in terms of one dollar bills. It's just a, a sum so beyond our scope, and I think that's one of the reasons why Ontarians become nonplus about these issues. You know, they're thinking, well, I still have my job, I still have money in my pocket, but we're all overspent. Most of us live beyond our means. Our province is living well beyond. That's just the one scandal alone. You know, I've had people tell me, liars, well, they're all liars. Well, maybe, maybe a lot of politicians are liars, but the difference is, if we let them take government again, what we're basically saying is that really we do not have an ethical problem with theft institutional theft on a scale that's unmanageable and so they they need to go simply because we have to put a stop to that kind of thieving otherwise we are a province of thieves now are you thieves who here considers himself a thief put your hand up would like to run on the career of being a thief put your hand up isn't a shame and won't blush over the idea that they're a thief. Put your hand up. But isn't that what we're doing if we elect these people again? Well, that's why I, uh, I uh, have this whole campaign behind this, because I want to remind Ontarians that, well, they're thieves and they're liars. That's what we are electing. That's what politics has been reduced to. So you can help Daniel get this message out. And I suggest you get many of these posters. I know they cost a little bit of money, and I'll explain what, where that money goes to in, down the road. There goes my banner again. <laughs> Somebody doesn't want us to get this message out. Um, I suggest you get this poster as a great target practice. The bumper sticker, the McGinty win equals Ontario's loss, I think is a perfect donation to make to anybody who works in the public sector, especially for a public sector union. And you know what? I suggest that you buy one of these and stick it on their car late at night and let them drive around town before June 12th. I'll have more to say about my authors in a bit. I'm going to ask uh, Nick Vandergrat. Did I? I've got your last name correct. Close enough. Well, say, say it. Nick, come on, come on forward. Hey, Nick. 